this is an interesting kind of topic. This is courtesy of Hip Hop DX. There's been this massive debate happening on social media, or massive, you know, on my corner of social media, on a timeline where people have been arguing um, whether or not um, Drake is a far bigger star um, than Michael Jackson or if he's comparable to Michael Jackson. And this is a headline here. Billboard sets off Drake and Michael Jackson debate with numbers to back it up. Um, Drake certified lover boy has already asserted its dominance of the charts, topping the Billboard 200 of this year's biggest sales, 613 units, and Spotify's streaming debut of 743.7 million on demand streams. Oh my god! While claiming nine of the top 10 spots in Billboard Top 100. While much of the build up of uh, certified lover boy's September release saw Drake pitted against Kanye West, who released his new album, album Don the Least, a uh, week before. The enormous success of the Toronto rapper's latest efforts to drain comparison to even more rarefied music legend on saturday billboard posted a tweet posted this question is drake in 2021 now as big as and uh, now as big as michael jackson or the beatles at their peak let's look at the, some of the factors behind drake's incredible chart incredible sorry incredible chart blow um for one um drake's um certified lover boy aforementioned nine top 10 hits means drake has more has broken more michael jackson records for the most billboard top 100 oh let's scroll back again so if I love a boy's aforementioned nine top 10 hits means that Drake has broken Michael Jackson's record for the most billable top one hot 100 top 10s for the same album Cool. previously MJ's 982 blockbuster Thriller posted seven songs in the top 10 a feat that stood for 70 37 years right insane god damn Drake also outranks Michael Jackson in terms of most number ones top, top 10 of the MJ's six um, most top 10 singles 54 to MJ's 30 and most consecutive weeks on the Billboard top 100 40, 443 and most hot 100 entries period 258 however Michael Jackson still reigns supreme over Drake when it comes to the most consecutive number one singles five to Drake's two um, thriller means you know, thriller means, remains the best selling album of all time with a reported 100 million copies sold worldwide the album came out in 1982 didn't it thriller god damn it um, it continues leads to say billboards will tweet itself in passionate debate between drake and michael jackson's respective fans as they compared the six gods record-breaking run in the king of pops enduring popularity so my opinion on this right we threw a couple people too anyway Oh, my hay fever's playing up there. Um, interesting debate. I think it's worth mentioning. I think it's worth debating because I do think we do have a tendency nowadays to not give people their flowers whilst they're around. And we do have a tendency to kind of poo-poo our current icons, our current musical geniuses, our current creative, artistic, whatever geniuses, and, and give them the props that they deserve. We kind of look at the history books with rose tinted article with rose tinted spectacles, but we don't give the people that are doing stuff now and putting their, you know, their kind of creativity on the line or their work and showcasing it and kind of performing and proving year in, year out. We don't give them the adulation that they need or deserve. But on the other side of it, I do kind of hate when people compare people all the time like this. And I do also com did hate it when people kind of say this person is a modern day that person i remember one time somebody doing it during when virgil i think maybe got appointed louis vuitton creative director um for men's and somebody on social was like oh yeah i think to post the picture of him with somebody i don't know who it was somebody else that you know some wanky person is like oh these people are the modern day malcolm x or something like that and it's like what like i get that you're friends and stuff but that just doesn't make any sense and also that's dumb do you know what i mean um but again, I understand the, I understand the premise, right? I, we have to give people their flowers whilst they're here. They're showing and proving every single year. Why not compare them to these people? Just because you know it's nowadays. Why is it gross? Why is it cringe? I get it. I understand. But there needs to be an honest conversation about what we're comparing. We're comparing numbers that are overly inflated because of the streaming era, obviously because of the internet, and we have to also compare and put into contrast just how electrifying stars and icons like Richard no, sorry, like, like uh, Michael Jackson David Bowie Prince the Beatles you know I don't know name some more at their heyday how they actually were and the kind of fever pitch um around them that existed it's just something they don't you don't really see replicated nowadays it just isn't a thing i don't know why that is i don't know what the case is i don't know what the case may be i think i was reminded about a little bit it's a weird example but i saw a video of Nicki minaj performing at um what festival was it recently 
no it wasn't recently it was an old video of her performing at made in america or something like that right um and you forget just how many hit songs this woman has and you also forget the fact that she's a supreme lyricist a supreme rapper right really really up there in terms of her ability to write rhymes isn't a dancing kind of girl right can just barely two-step even with Duchess caribbean she's not the most um sensualist of dancers and stuff right but she commands a stage has great hit records and can perform her ass off right like great and again this is for somebody that probably spent her whole time lot especially during her peak Nicki Minaj was touring around Europe and of course the UK a lot so her ability to perform on a stage is undeniable but then you compare it to the people that people tell you are the next big thing nowadays that like the Megan Thee Stallions the City Girls and all these kind of people they're just not the same caliber yeah maybe they got the attention now because social media's progressed since Nicki Minaj started social media wasn't even around or internet wasn't around in the way that it is when Michael Jackson was around so of course your ability to kind of put yourself out there and make the numbers f make you look like you should be in a conversation with said person are there but in terms of artistic sort of impact in terms of cultural impact in cultural legacy in terms of just what you see with your eyes and what you can feel in your soul you know that just this just isn't right it just doesn't make sense right you've seen videos of Microsoft performing places and people legitimately fainting into the arms of security guards that isn't normal that isn't something that just can be replicated through streaming numbers that obviously is a once in a lifetime situation that we probably won't see rectified I, I don't think we'll I don't agree with people who say we're never going to see a talent as great as Michael Jackson because I do think in the future there will be somebody of course it's going to come around i think it's just the way the world works um there's going to, always going to be somebody that pops around it's just kind of remind you how beautiful music is and why you fell in love with going to see live shows and whatnot and i think that person will have you know again um will kind of come out of the ether somewhere somewhere or the other but let's not let's not kind of uh skew things right let's be honest Drake's an amazing artist. He does incredible things. He's obviously somebody who's been able to kind of sympathize and capture the cultural zeitgeist. He is a master at providing you for tracks and songs and lyrics and bars and hooks for the moment that you're living in. Um, but let's also be honest, he's nowhere near in terms of what Michael Jackson was able to do artistically, creatively, legacy wise, performance wise. He's nowhere near Kanye. He's nowhere near, Kanye. He's nowhere near Drake. Drake is not only Michael Jackson. It just is the fact of the matter. Um, again, he need, Drake. Give, you can get, you can give Drake his flowers without denigrating the legacy of Michael Jackson by comparing him to Drake. Especially considering how long Michael Jackson's run was. Especially considering the legacy that he left. Especially considering just him as a person overall. Especially considering the, the content that exists out there that we could see of what kind of reaction he used to get when he used to be out there in the streets don't get me wrong if Drake was to walk down on Oxford Street I'm sure he would shut it down too but this is just a different level of stardom that exists with these people that you just don't see record and again I don't know what it is maybe it's because of the prevalence of social media and the fact that we see these people too often maybe or maybe the way the, way the, way the media works I don't know or stan culture I don't know what it is but we are missing a lot of artists especially in music who have the it factor who have the x factor which is why people are so obsessed with people like rihanna and stuff right because not many of those people exist right that are able to kind of just hold your attention no matter what they're doing um they're able to kind of <coughs> resonate with people from all walks of life it just doesn't exist the way it did in the past and i don't know why but i guess it's just the case so let's roll back down and see some responsive people on social um because of hip-hop dx it has here um someone said the fact that you have to compare him to Michael Jackson speaks to itself he is a blueprint the world will never experience the amount of star power Michael Jackson had and I think this is a performance match just jump in I'm not going to play it though because probably get a copyright strike another person here says you can try to push this narrative all day long but nope and they have images of Michael Jackson's um kind of waving to fans and crowds adoring crowds you know in the hundreds of thousands kind of screaming back at him um you've got somebody here that says Michael Jackson reminder of his record best-selling thriller album of all time 120 million five best-selling albums of all time number one in the chart since he was 11 years old which is true um so most successful eyes of all time drake doing better of course and continue bill between this again feeding us drake chart success when people keep on asking for influence and impact cool so yeah I think in general most people do think you know this obviously article is nonsense and obviously meant to generate debate which is done but again like i said um if the consequence for this is we are meant to kind of uh encourage to highlight and give flowers to people who, ex who are around nowadays making music i think that's important but again we don't need to compare 
we don't need to denigrate one to give props to the other and we do need to kind of respect and um and kind of recognize that the times that these other artists like the beatles like michael jackson when they existed to make music and to become a superstar was incredibly diff was incredibly i'd say way more difficult than it is nowadays obviously the competition and uh kind of pull is way more saturated so it makes it harder to break through but if you do and you have the funds and you have the talent it's far more easier to do so i don't think anyone can kind of argue with that so you know what what can you do